Chapter 3, Climate, Environment, and Resources. In our module, we will only be covering environment and resources. So we'll just begin with Section 3, Natural Environments. The big idea, plants, animals, and the environment, including soil, interact and affect one another. Main Ideas. The environment and life are interconnected and exist in a fragile balance. Soils play an important role in the environment. Natural environments, main idea number one. The, envir the environment and life are interconnected and exist in a fragile balance. Plants and animals live where they are suited to the environment or surroundings. Factors such as temperature, rainfall, and soil conditions limit options of where they can live. All plants and animals are adapted to specific environments. Let's take a look at this forest ecosystem. A forest ecosystem. A forest is one type of ecosystem. The plants and animals in the forest depend on one another and the forest environment to survive. Number one, sunlight is a source of energy for most living things. Number two, plants use the energy in sunlight to make food. They serve as the basis for other life in the ecosystem. Number three, animals such as rabbits eat the plants and gain some of their energy. Number four, predators such as wolves and hawks eat rabbits and other prey for energy. Number five, larger predators such as mountain lions compete for the prey that is available. Here's something to think about. What might happen in the forest ecosystem above if the number of rabbits fell significantly? Natural environments, main idea number one, the environment and life are interconnected and exist in a fragile balance. Ecosystem. This is a group of plants and animals that depend on each other for survival and the environment in which they live. Formed from interconnections between living things and the environment. Interconnections means connections between each other. They can be any size and can occur wherever air, water, and soil support life. Changes to environments. Ecosystems exist in a fragile balance. A small change to one part can affect the whole system. People can affect ecosystems in many ways. Some actions can destroy a habitat. A habitat is a place where an animal, a plant, lives. Extreme changes in ecosystems can cause a species to die out or to become extinct. Many countries are working to balance people's needs with the needs of the environment. Natural environments, main idea number two. Soils play an important role in the environment. Soils help determine what plants will grow and how well. Fertile soils are rich in minerals and humus, which is decayed plant or animal matter. These soils also support abundant life. Let's take a look at this diagram of soil layers. Soil layers, the three layers of soil are the topsoil, the subsoil, and broken rock. The thickness of each layer depends on the conditions in a specific location. Here's something to think about. In which layer of soil are the most plants, roots, and insects found?
Natural environment's main idea number two, soils play an important role in the environment. Soils can, soils can lose their fertility in many ways. Erosion. Planting the same crops over and over can cause soil to not be fertile. When soil becomes worn out, it cannot support as many plants. This can lead to desertification, which is the spread of desert-like conditions. Our next section will be section four. We'll talk about that in our next video.